Okay, back to the tracking station. I'm definitely gonna get both the Dredge mission and this mission into orbit around their proper locations before we're done here. Can we call it a fern? I think that's the kindest thing that it could be. <laughs> if we're going for optimism, fern is the way to go. Okay, where's Drez? For a nearly problematic place. Okay, 50 kilometers sounds fine. Okay, Hangul Kerman. Finally arriving at his destination. I can't even see Drez. Drez is one of those sneaky ones. I may watch Watchmen, but that's sort of in line with a whole bunch of other stuff, comic book stuff that I need to watch. Like, I still haven't watched all the, uh, the Marvel movies. And I still want to watch the latest season of Gotham. That's just a comic book thing, not a Marvel thing, obviously. Like I said, I just don't have a lot of time to watch things. It's very difficult to watch something and record video at the same time, for obvious reasons. Or watch, uh, you know, videos on how to code in Unity kind of thing. Okay, how the heck does this staging work? All this is done, right? This is all done. That... Sort of makes sense. Let's get rid of this stuff first. Right. And... Yeah, okay, that makes sense to me. Not exactly how I'd want that to happen, but okay. So we were supposed to try to deploy a satellite into an equatorial orbit of Drez. The thing is... This was not launched as a uncrewed satellite. But will it still count? Okay, off that goes. Uh, not you. Not you. Yeah, you. Okay, it counts! So we just need to get to the right orbit with it. Excellent. And it has a little bit of communication, too. So the right orbit is that line there. So we need to go prograde. Okay. So, there's a little uh, bit of information for us. Actually, it doesn't have to be launched as an unmanned probe when fulfilling these missions. That's really not what I want. Oh heck, we'll just go to a high orbit first and then figure out the inclination business. Name all the Ninja Turtles? Yeah. Leonardo, Donatello, Raphael, and Michelangelo. I am of my generation, after all. <laughs> I mean... Oh... You want to see me suffer, don't you, Mr. Doobie? Have they added sound to those things yet? Because the propellers didn't have sound. I'm on a robotic strike unless until there's sound on the propellers. Well, first I have to learn. I can't teach until I actually learn. It'd be quite a trick if I could. That's going to be painful, because me and helicopters have not gone on well, generally speaking. It's amazing, it's only 28 meters per second. They're so far out, we're barely still in orbit around Drez at this altitude. But given that I basically show everything that I do, I, I will end up showing my learning process rather than my teaching process. 
And you'll have to learn from my mistakes. Really far away from Drez. Look. Look at Drez over there. Are we there yet? Okay, that's good. Maintain stability. Okay, that one's done. I wasn't expecting to get that one done, but... Ah, fine. We'll transmit that. There might be goo on the crewed mission to do as well. Shuttle Commander Launch Trailer. PlayStation. Gosh darn it, I don't have consoles. Are they gonna make it for PC? VR though, that means you have to have a VR headset too, right? Are we supposed to land with this thing? It doesn't look... Well, I guess I could land with it in a pinch. But probably not, this is just supposed to get back. Okay, then we'll leave it in a loose orbit. Crew report. Mm, can we transmit? No, we should just keep. EVA. This should be high over. Okay, I'll have to look up exactly what the return uh, phase angle is, though. Let me see. KSP Trez. Phase angle, negative 329.7. Uh, well, that translates to Kerbin being ahead by 30 degrees. Let me just, whoop, no, I wanted the map. So we need Kerbin ahead by 30 degrees. That's in a little bit of time. I think that's enough time for us to focus on the Duna drill unit. Pecan pie was one pie I did not make. If you do not have a pecan source, then pecans are a bit expensive. Or at least expensive enough that it's definitely cheaper to just buy the stupid pie from the professionals. So I'm gonna try and put this asteroid into orbit around Duna, and then on Saturday you guys have to remind me about that Drez mission stuck around Drez and remind me to bring him back, okay? Because <laughs> uh, otherwise he's just gonna be staying around Drez for an extended period of time. What the heck just happened? No, oh, it's got a Ike encounter, but it definitely wants us in orbit of Duna. Hmm. But I sort of like the idea of giving, giving Ike an asteroid. I mean, that's an orbit of Duna. And gets us an Ike encounter. Okay, pole. We need a pole. Do we want to leave this in orbit of Ike or Duna, is the question. I think we should do the burn with a little bit of time margin. Okay, that should be good enough. Okay, I'm gonna drop the HUD and everything again. It's a cinematic thing, I think. Except for the RCS constantly puffing and rolling around all over the place, and that's not quite so cinematic. I guess we should check on the details. This wandered off a little bit. Oh, we're out of mod propellant. We need to start churning that out again.
Uh oh, electric charge is going down. Um. Okay, hold it, hold it. I probably should have been a little bit more conservative about the RCS. The asteroid is basically blocking the sun. Uh, maybe we could sort of subtly tilt in a way that... Helps. Uh, the other way, the other way. No, the other way. Class C. At least according to it, it was. Better still be classy. Yep, says so. Oh, it's getting wobbly. Um, well, it just wants it in Duna orbit, so first Duna, and then uh, I had people vote on where they wanted it. Just vote one for Ike orbit, vote two for Duna orbit. Oh, we don't have any more ore to churn out, so it's replenishing the batteries. Come on, capture! <laughs> oh, we probably don't need to keep the drill going. Oh, I didn't want to retract, I just wanted to stop it. Well, with this mission, Dottie's gonna be a legendary engineer in our space build program right here. The reason I was tilted away from prograde is to keep the periapsis up, but I think it'll be alright if I just point out. Oh, the, the no, it was the power too. Power is important to it. Oh god, no. No. Okay, fine. Just turn eventually to the right. Please. Yes, we were tilted for a different reason than I said we were. And because I forgot about the real reason. Nearly lost things. Actually, I think the RCS still works without power as long as the Kerbal's in, but not 100% sure about that. In this case, when there's no pilot. We really need to actually get into Duna Orbit before we hit Ike. This is important. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Signs of orbit, signs of orbit. Is that a good periapsis? Seems that way. Okay, let's shut down and claim victory. We have claimed victory! Bring a newly discovered Class C asteroid into an orbit around Tuna, and it is in fact an orbit. Okay. Now we would like to get closer to Ike, so we'll continue burning. So, I am right that uh, we voted for Ike orbit, right? Seems that way. Oh, 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 that's interesting. Oh, still can't delete the maneuver node. That's nearly orbit right there.
That's as low as that's gonna go. All right. There's Ike. We are in Ike orbit. I'll try and circularize it. It's inclined. I don't know if we want to keep it inclined or not. Station? I don't know. We'll see. I would like to be paid for that. Thank you, but... We will see. How much ore is left? I don't know. Are asteroids a certain percentage ore? Uh, it says resources here, 64 tons. Mass, 79 tons. There we go, right clicking on it. Okay, I think I'll leave it right there. That's sufficient. It looks like it came from Mike from the first place. Okay, stop. Okay, uh, roll. You're not getting enough power. Still not fully recharging out here. At Duna, the solar panels don't provide as much. So I don't think it can run continuously. But anyway, I'll, I'll just shut it down for now. And Dottie, well, we don't know exactly what the future holds for Dottie at this point. Dottie is here around Ike. I think there is another Kerbal, like, on the Ike base that we haven't brought back, if I remember correctly. We've stranded quite, uh, well, a few Kerbals. Not quite a few, but a few. Let me just check in the Space Center. Assign 7. Angle is right there. Uh, Filney... Uh, Angle's on the Dres mission. Ike Depot and Lander Filney is there. Jankot and Bill are at the Moon and Minmus base on Minmus. And then the Minmus station has Bob and Valentina and Dottie's in the drill unit. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.